right, what's going on, Cowboys Nation? I know it has been a while since I made my last video. I had to say, like, what, four to five months? <laughs> it has been forever. That's probably why I lost a good, like, like six, seven subscribers. I don't know how many, but who cares? I'll get them back, hopefully, you know, if I can stay consistent with making videos like I say I will. I never, I never do, I, I never do what I'll say I'll do. Because I always say I'm busy, which is true, but hey, you know, it's life. It is what it is. But anyways, draft time. I, I could not go without making a video during draft time. And it's just so much good information to talk about. So that's why I'm here right now with you making a video. So, <laughs> But anyways, I wanted to touch, um, you know, based on this first round pick, uh, Land uh, what's his name? Leighton Vander Esch. I'm, I'm going to try to get that right. To say LVE is, is the best way to say it to make it easier uh linebacker of the boise state uh really uh one of the top linebackers in this draft i believe he was one of the best um i mean i i kind of looked at a little bit of tape on him uh kind of before the draft you know because that that was one of the uh he was one of the guys that the cowboys brought in and scouted and really evaluated to try to see if he could be the best guy to take with that 19th pick you know what i'm saying so uh he was definitely on their board you know to uh take around that area of, of picks you know what I mean but what I don't understand is is I see so many Cowboys fans out there that that are um that are that were just sold on getting a receiver with the 19th pick just because we're just because we released Des Bryant so many of us just expected a receiver like so early in the draft in the first round no there's there's not one great receiver in this draft that convinced me that we should have took him with the 19th pick not one why do you think that the why do you think that the first receiver that was taken was what the 24th pick dj moore was the first receiver taken not even calvin ridley that's how you know this is not the greatest receiving class it's a lot of good receivers but there's not one great receiver in this draft and that's a problem. So that's why I don't think we should we should have re uh, relied so much on a, a receiver in the first round. We could have just picked one in the third round like we did uh, today with Michael Gallup, which I thought was great. You know, in the second round, uh, we picked Connor Williams, another uh, stud offensive lineman to, to fill that left guard uh, gap or the right tackle, you know, where Lael is at right now. So I, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out going into camp and all that type of stuff in uh, preseason, you know. But Connor Williams is a day one starter. He will start on that offensive line. But it's just a matter of uh, where he's going to be. Uh, at tackle or guard, the guy is really, really good. You know, so, um, but I don't know how I went into all of that. This video is really supposed to be about the linebacker, Le uh, Va Leighton Vander Esch. I'm going to get that right. But yeah, man, uh, that that was the best pick that you could ever pick. You lose, look, think about this. You lose Anthony Hitchens to free agency. You know, you got Sean Lee that's 31 going on 32, and he, he's suspect in, in injuries. You know, you can't depend on him to, to keep a full 100% healthy season. So that makes sense right there to get Leighton Vander Esch. You know, you got Jalen Smith, you know, surprisingly with the amount of, the amount of snaps that he's taken uh, last year, all of us did not expect him to play that much last year, you know, so he took a big step last year with the amount of playing time that he got coming off that big injury from three years ago. So, um, you know, we, we all expect and the front office expects uh, Jalen Smith to take a big step this upcoming season. He's going to be a lot better than he was last year because he's going to be... Um, what am I trying to say? I guess just more healthy. He's going to feel more comfortable about his um, body. You know what I mean? Coming from that injury, you know he's just, you know he's going to feel more comfortable and all that type of stuff. And he's he's just, he's just going to feel like he uh, he could take a big step. And uh, I think he can. I think he has all the tools and the potential to be a Pro Bowl level linebacker. You know, we just got to see uh, what he'll what he'll do, man. What he'll contribute to as the as pretty much damn near the main guy you know what i mean if you're going to depend on him to be the main guy you got to make sure you are for sure uh that he is the main guy basically you know what i mean so um but it, it was just a big hole that we had to fill right there you know that's why cowboys uh got lve from boise state you know this is a guy that you know um 
that can potentially be your next type of Sean Lee or maybe a Brian Urlacher type of linebacker. If he can do that, hey, a lot of these fans going to come back and they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna go back and look at their pick like, hey, that was a hell of a pick. You know what I mean? There was so many Cowboys fans just hating on the pick. You know what I mean? I'm like, dude, this is exactly what we needed. This is a great-ass pick. You know, like, how do you not like this guy? How do you not like this pick? Dallas knows what the heck they're doing, man. They know what the heck they're doing. They're making the smartest picks possible. They ain't following by everybody else's thinking. You know, they're gonna they're gonna go they're gonna follow what they actually need. See, that's the point. You got to you got to really evaluate, look at your team, evaluate what you really need for your team. Just because Dez Bryant got released did not mean that we needed a receiver in the freaking first round. Dummies. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but you you get what I mean. You know what I mean? It, it it didn't make sense. I was not sold on Calvin Ridley or DJ Moore with the 19 pick. I just was not sold. I feel like there was an, another need or from another area on the depth chart that we needed to fill for production. For production. That's why we got the linebacker. So, you know, I, I I'm just... I, I was just in major shock to see so many haters hating on um, Leighton Van Der Esch so early. I mean, just so early, man. The guy, I mean, let the guy, let the guy breathe, man. Like, just wait and see what he'll do and then, you know, hate on the pick. Then you can do whatever, say whatever, you know what I mean? But don't don't hate on the guy so so quick and so fast, you know what I mean? It's, you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, man. Be a real Dallas Cowboy fan. Ugh. <sighs> Anyways, I anyways like I said, I thought it was a great pick because I knew exactly what the Dallas Cowboys were doing. I, I knew what they're doing. It was a it was a great ass pick. So couldn't go wrong with it, man. That it was a needed pick. It was a needed pick. He's that guy's gonna come right in and start right away as one of our main linebackers, you know. But uh, I, I'd say if uh, if they would have kept Hitchens, then I would have been a little iffy on you know who what guy they were gonna take. You know, I wasn't going to be fully sure of, you know, who was who uh, or what direction they were going to go in uh, with that pick. You know what I mean? You didn't know. It might have been receiver or it might have been a D-line or whatever. You know what I mean? So, but I, be, but I mean, like I said, that, that was one of our most needed picks. And um, like I said, they made the right pick. So, you couldn't go wrong with it. That's all I got to say on that one, man. So, yeah, man, uh, I think this draft is going really good so far. Um our uh, last couple of picks and Michael Gallup and Connor Williams is uh, another two damn good picks. I'm going to touch more based on that in my other videos and all of that type of stuff. So, yeah, man, that's all I got to say, man. Tomorrow is um, Saturday. I think it's rounds four through seven starting at 11 or noon Eastern or whatever. And uh, we're going to see a lot of more, we're going to see a lot more interesting picks that are um, that we expect to uh, come in and, and, and um, have some pretty good production. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can see some guys come in and, and be potential starters. You know, you can always you can still find gems in the four in rounds four through seven all day long, all day long. So, I mean, ex expect to see. I mean, look at the four, look at rounds four through seven, just like how you how you are or how you how or how you look at them in the first and second round, basically, because most of the time or damn near all the time. You're going to find better players in those rounds than you do in the first and second round. Sometimes most of the players you find in the fourth and uh, from, or from rounds four through seven end up being better than the players that are uh, from rounds one through two or three. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's always good to, to try to look at the whole draft and really, you know, touch in depth on, 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 uh, the, guys that they, on, on the guys that they draft, you know, because you never know who you'll get, you know. So... That's all I got to say on that one, man. Look at all the cowboy gear, cowboy shirt. We lit in here, man. But, yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all, man, tonight. I will definitely um, try to make a video tomorrow, hopefully, if I can stay consistent making videos. But, yeah, I'll definitely uh, make a video or try to make a video tomorrow and, and touch uh, more base on some of these other picks and what I think uh, of, um, you know, my personal thoughts on those guys. So, yeah, that's all I got, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow or, yeah, most likely tomorrow. <laughs> All right, man. Peace. Middle finger to the other side, even if the grass greener. I'm with a group of white hoes in the black beam.